maintain the same frame of mind. Screw yo, get your picture, sit your seat, your preacher with scripture. I'm equipped to rip your weak yo. Pharaoh and Moses, verbal osmosis, toast to toast. We boast to be the most explosive here. Ferocious, the lyrical broad knows that you know. Just leaving your mentally unfocused there. Them seeds just come on. It is already Thursday, so the sale has already started, and I've just not been able to find anything at any half price books. There's one right there, that's what we're gonna go in today. Um, so, and I'm probably gonna hit another one after this. These are, these are not close to my house, I'm just trying to travel outside the box. Uh, outside of my area to see if I can find something because um, I usually do very good on these weeks half price book sale week uh, but I just can't find anything I don't want to get 50% off of Metal Gear Solid 2 I'm not interested in anything like that it's gonna have to be something pretty special um, so we'll see what happens um, anything that I reserve if I put it on a reservation program will be since it's already Thursday will be 40% off or 50% off so that's really where I want to be in the week but I like scouting these places out a little bit earlier than this and knowing what they have and I tried my best and I just couldn't find anything at any of the places that I normally go to so we'll see uh, we'll go inside this uh, store right here and see if we can find something good Crap again. All 
All right, guys, so today is Friday, 40% off day, and then, of course, we have Saturday, 40% off, and Sunday's 50% off, so there's no time like now to get this done. Um, we only have now and this weekend, and this weekend, to be honest with you, if you don't, you know, like that one store had the 24-hour, um, like they all make up their own rules. The one store had 24-hour reservation, another store has 48, Another store has 72, so you just don't know what you're gonna be running into. So finding something on Sunday that hasn't been reserved is gonna be next to impossible. And probably the same thing with Saturday. This is really kind of a do or die day today. This um, half price books we're going to, I've only been there twice before ever. They usually have very good games there, but they but I, I don't think I've ever caught them slipping on prices. Um, all I really need them to slip is just a little bit and then throw on the 40 or the 50% and I can get a really nice deal if they have an expensive game here. Uh, so that's what we'll be looking for and uh, that's that. Right, guys so now we're heading to Galveston uh, to the Goodwill over here uh, went to uh, get a coffee at Starbucks and in the drive-thru the lady in front of me paid for my uh, drink has that ever happened to you guys before it's kind of weird you know I, I mean I considered it like you know really good karma if I did the same and purchased for the uh, person behind me so I asked what the person ordered behind me and fuck it was like a $30 order I was like fuck karma anyhow we're gonna head over here to a Goodwill in the G-Town and see if we can find something started off good picked up a couple of games at that last Goodwill and um, hopefully that'll be a sign of the things to come all right see you at the Goodwill Vampire, vampire poodle. Hey, 
Taylor, you don't want her in the video? Taylor. Sparky's cute. <laughs> what? You don't want her in the video? Don't be a YouTube whore. Share the share the camera. <laughs> Sparky. Sparky. <laughs> Sparky. What's up everybody? It's tight white live and in full effect in the closet with the pickups this week. Uh let's get at it right away here. So the first pickup, this is in no order. Uh, for $3.99, picked up Just Dance 2015 uh, on the Xbox 360. And this game goes for like $22, $23. It's like new condition, guys. So I'm definitely flipping that. Uh, next pickup, another copy that I found at the same place. I think it was the next day or two days later. Uh, just needs a little sticker clean on this yellow sticker right there, and it's also in light new condition uh, complete uh, Got that one for two dollars and ninety nine cents, so I'll be flipping that one as well uh, And then at the same Goodwill I picked up uh, Def Jam fight for New York I already have a copy of this. I have a black label copy of this. This is the greatest hits version uh, $2.99 here. This is not in the best shape at all um it is complete though i don't know if you can see the directions or it's got some some damage on them the disc does have some scratching on it um this is this is a 35 dollar game right here guys but in this type of condition i'm probably going to get between 28 and 30 bucks off of that um so i will be selling that as long as it works if i have to resurface it i will but i don't think i it's not in that bad a condition where i'd have to resurface it so i should be able to make probably 30 bucks after i clean up the stickers and uh uh do a little bit of uh work on it uh next pickup i uh, got this from a half price books i don't know if you guys could tell by the video but this is one dollar uh found this apparently this half price books has like a dollar shelf and it was nothing but like sports titles, but I saw this. I've sold, I can't remember now if I've sold two on eBay of this game or one. But I've definitely sold one and I made 20 bucks off of it. $20 game, I got it for a dollar. Um, the disc does have some scratching on it, but it's not that bad at all. So I'll be making 20 bucks off of that. And, um, and then at Goodwill today... Picked up a uh, kind of an uncommon game, uh, Drakengard. This is a Square Enix. I say Square Enix. I was noticing today online, I was watching a review on this, and the guy was saying Square Onyx. So whatever, Square Enix, Square Onyx. Picked that up for $1.99. This game got good reviews, guys. This is a, a hack and slash game where you're on foot, but there's also sequences in the game where you can get on your dragon and fly around, which seems real badass, man. Kind of like Panzer uh, Dragoon Orta. Uh, so I'm definitely interested in playing this game. For $1.99, you cannot beat that. Uncommon game, Drakengard. Never seen this out in the wild before. Unfortunately, it does not have the directions, but the disc was in very nice shape. Make sure that doesn't fall. Uh, next pickup, uh, I do have this, but I want to say I have the greatest hits version of this. Uh, Odd World Abe's Exodus. Picked this up at the same Goodwill and got that for 99 cents, guys. Crazy prices. Uh, this is complete. The discs are not perfect, but uh, uh, the case is in nice condition. No scratches on there, no uh, cracks. So uh, I'll definitely be flipping my greatest hits version of that. I think this game is worth like $15, $16. Um, all right, now for a half price books, um, the two games that I use my discounts on this week, I got 40% off on this game. This is the game that I got, or the place I got my horse and me at. Uh, the Bouncer, guys. I've never seen this game out in the wild before. I've known about this game for years. Uh, it's a beat em up game made by Squaresoft. And I never see this game anywhere. I've never seen it out in the wild at Thrift. I've never seen it at half price books. So I was super excited about picking this up. Uh, great price, $9.99. I got the 40% off on it. So I only paid like $6 and change for it. So, uh, and this game is, 
Let me move this over here so I can open this up. This game is complete too, guys, and the disc is in very nice shape. So yeah, man, I could not be any more happy about that, man. Squaresoft, the bouncer on the PlayStation 2 for $9.99. Got it for six bucks and change. All right, next game. This is the other half price books pick up this week. Never, ever do I see Fatal Frame games out there. I see some of you guys' videos and I see Fatal Frames in your collection. I'm always jealous by it. Uh, I think the only time that I saw Fatal Frame games was at back when um, GameStop sold retro games. And I think they had two of these games there, uh, Fatal Frame 1 and 2. And I think they were like 40 and 35 bucks. And I was like, hell no, I wasn't going to purchase it. So for $14.99, the disc alone on this game is worth 20 plus. I uh, got 30% off on it, so I only paid $11 and change. Fatal Frame 3 um, Tormented. Now, this game, unfortunately, does not have the directions, but the disc is in very nice shape, and that's usually the case with half price books. They don't take discs that are super scratched up. Everything falls down. All right, now, the last pickup to show you guys is... Um, another game that's a little bit obscure. Now the case on this one is kind of falling apart. They had it taped up, uh, but some glue should be able to, to tape it back together. Uh, the paper's coming off on it, but long box magic carpet. Uh, you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see that two dollars and 50 cents. I actually, there was a sale today. So I actually got this for two dollars and 16 cents. Okay. It does not have the directions so the disc is in there and it's in very nice shape. Uh, if you guys do not know about this game, it, it originated on the PC and then was ported over to the PlayStation 1. And it's a open world uh, 3D game where you're flying around on a magic carpet. Uh, back in the day, the graphics were supposed to be groundbreaking on this, on the PC and on the PlayStation 1. But uh, now I'm sure it's aged so much that it looks weird. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all the pickups. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is... I want to know from you guys, I'm going to do a coming out the closet video tomorrow and I'm going to let you guys vote and pick in the comment section of this video. Just please don't pick Just Dance games, all right, because I'm not playing those. Don't pick My Horse and Me, but out of uh, Magic Carpet, Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented, The Bouncer, um, Oddworld Apes Exodus, Draken Guard, and Def Jam Fight for New York, I want to know what you guys want me to bring out the closet and do some gameplay of tomorrow. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate everyone for watching the video, and I do have an announcement to make. Um, you guys remember when I retired The Move? Well, I'm gonna retire something else. Uh, I get a lot of negative responses or in the past, back when I used to do the, uh, the uh, rubbing of my fingers together indicating uh, something's worth money. I got a lot of hate on that. So I am retiring the rubbing of the fingers together right now. You guys win. The haters win. I will not be using that anymore. All right, guys. Well, I got to go. I just got a text from a good friend that works at a Goodwill across town, and he says he has something amazing waiting for me over there. So I'm about to jump in the car and uh, head over to that Goodwill. Later, guys. Peace out. Dum dums bust the science as they go up close to the course and the force is interesting. Most can you find your way through the lyrics that be catching them? Throw another rhyme across the room, they be fetching them. And they take a loss, take a loss to the master. And I throw his crazy blows and they know I be plastering. All across the room on the ceilings and the walls, too. Punk little suckers, they didn't know I had the gall to. Come around, they block with my cock diesel system and turn it up to 10 and then start the